This is the Huawei MediaPad M2. It's called 86% in a full review on notebookcheck.com and .net. In this video, I'm gonna give you some details of the highs and lows of this 300 euro Android 5.1 eight inch tablet. So there's a really nice eight inch 1920 by 1200 screen there with a center maximum brightness of 463 nits. So that is a good screen. So along with that high center brightness, we've got a contrast ratio of 995, which is an excellent figure, and deltas from the uh, color, full color accuracy of over six, which is not perfect. Under five would be, would be ideal, but six is not, uh, is not terrible for this device, especially at this price. So it's a nicely finished tablet as well. It looks pretty good. It's a mixture of metal and plastic all around, and only 7.8 millimeters uh, thick. Let's give you a look at some of the uh, features around the device, power, volume rocker, and in here, this is not an LTE version, so you've just got the micro SD card slot inside that, behind that plastic uh, cover there. On the bottom, there's a speaker, excellent uh, speaker actually, really nice and powerful, uh, mic at the bottom, nothing on the left hand side, and then you've got micro USB and your headphone socket there. Good Wi-Fi performance here, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz supported, and also the AC network standard. Bluetooth 4.0 also supported. There's no NFC on this. And just to talk about the GPS, it is pretty quick and pretty accurate. Let's talk about performance briefly on the SunSpider 1.02 test, scoring around 1,000 milliseconds, which puts it up there with the Galaxy Tab S2 8-inch. And... Uh, moving ahead of the uh, previous uh, media pad, which was about 40% slower than this. So it's a high silicon Kirin 930 inside. That's an octa-core SOC. Coming in around about twice the speed of the previous media pad, the M1. There you can see the Geekbench 3 score of 823 points. 16 gig internal storage is only about 10 gig free once you've uh, first booted it up. Uh, speeds are faster, much faster than the old MediaPad M1, but not really coming up to the speed of the excellent Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 in that test. There's Android Bench 3 test results for you on the screen. We tested a couple of games on that SOC, which runs the ARM Mali T628 MP4 GPU with a 600 uh, MHz clock, supports MGL ES3 and DirectX 11, Angry Birds 2, Asphalt 5, with no problems. There, nice and fluid action. Uh, the movement sensor also reacting pretty well. No problems on the temperature. We couldn't record any uh, significant heating under load. Moving on to battery life. Uh, it is an 18 watt hour battery inside and um, actually beating the Samsung Galaxy Tab on the Wi-Fi surfing test. Coming in at eight hours, 45 minutes of Wi-Fi surfing at 100 and 150 nits. Video playback, 12 hours. So pretty good scores on, on the battery there. Pros and cons. Well, there are the pros up on the screen. I won't go through all of those for you. Uh, I'll just mention that there's no NFC. The battery is uh, built in, so you can't uh, change the battery. And that the camera, when we tested that, we just got average performance on the, cam on the camera. 86% is a good score, and that uh, really is one of the better Android tablets we've tested recently, the Huawei MediaPad M2. Check out the full review on notebookcheck.net, notebookcheck.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this video channel to get notifications for the next videos that are going up soon. And if you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of this video, don't forget it. Don't forget to give it a, a like below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.